Hi, so a couple years ago I got a book called uh, The All Told the Truth, The Anti-Gravity Papers by Richard Crandall. And there's a lot of stuff in here about uh, a lot of different theories. And he basically says, and he, he goes through some, has a very interesting theory about relating Maxwell's electromagnetic equations to gravity. And he goes, basically some of the concepts are that <clears throat> a cone, a spinning cone, uh, made out of aluminum or copper or bismuth shaped. He doesn't give details or exact specifications, but this is just a 45 degree um, taper on here. Anyways, a cone uh, spinning in a magnetic field should produce gravity waves and separate negative matter from positive matter, which is a theoretical concept in physics. Uh, which I won't go into here, but um, in fact, I'll just open up the book to the page here before I actually do a demonstration. Of so this. here are some of his drawings in, on page B, B70, and he's just showing here that with the cone, uh, the gravitomagnetic, for, uh, gravitomagnetic lines of force cause the separation of the negative and positive mass rings in a spinning uh, in, in this case, well, it's a cone um, compared to just a cylinder. And I don't know if anybody out there has, uh, has read this book or not. Um, if not, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and that's okay, I guess. So, and there's just lots of theory and stuff here. And it, it seems to kind of make sense. It's a really good theory. And so, but what I've done here is just my curiosity has caused me to kind of take another maybe a last stab at this idea just to kind of see if there's any validity to what he's saying in that book and I don't have specifications and uh, so what I've done is just these are ceramic magnets here just attached onto the uh, center here on my lathe and uh, cut this aluminum cone out here and that was one of the materials that he specified as being because aluminum has an unpaired nucleon in its in its nucleus and it has to do with uh, I won't get into all the details but it's in the book but anyways here I'll just power this up and we'll see what happens this here this is just a cheap scale a digital scale uh, so it's saying right now it's saying zero grams if you can see that so, and I'll just kind of show you here. So if I push down on the glass plate, you'll see it. So it's pretty sensitive. So the idea here is that, from what I understand of the theory, is that this should emit um, gravitational shock waves and cause, ideally, this thing to, as it spins, it will produce a force like a gravitational force as a as the positive and the negative matter in the nucleons in the nucleus separate and it's some theory in in quantum physics or particle physics or something anyways enough talking here I will get it going and you'll see what happens this lathe goes up to 2500 rpm so let's just see what happens here Looks like nothing happened in this experiment and whether that proves or disproves this whole theory uh, well I don't want to say either way but in this particular experiment it just seems to d uh, demonstrate there's no conclusive evidence that anything in the in this theory is uh, gravitational shock waves as they hit matter should create a force 
right as as they so that's my my thought on it um as uh, uh pod Klinoff has <clears throat> demonstrated in some of his experiments where he was able to create a gravity beam from uh, electric discharges so there's, there's a couple things about this experiment uh one is that if it doesn't make gravity waves or if there is some effect here that's I can't detect it with what I have, so that may be a possibility. And uh, the other is, I don't know the specifications or parameters that would work in this, because they weren't given. Uh, it's just presented a, a theory.